So you guys know I just had a baby a little over two months ago. And I remember the first time we went to the grocery store as a family, which I don't know why we did that because I think that's questioning my sanity right there. But the first time we went to the store as a family, I was really stressed out and overwhelmed about it, which I shouldn't be at this point. It's my third baby. I kind of know how things are going to go. And you know, my expectations are kind of low. I think I was running on maybe like two, three hours of sleep. I was praying that Austin just would maybe make it through the grocery store. And I just remember having a lot of like anxious emotions about it. And so I have Austin in the stroller. My husband's got my older two in the cart. And I'm just trying to like grab things, like hurry up and grab. I'm like, all right, we need this, we need this, we need this. Feeling like a hot mess, okay? Because again, two hours of sleep, it's just a miracle I walked out the door feeling like a hot mess and I'm looking around thinking everyone's thinking I'm a hot mess because I am. And this mom comes up to me and she's there with her husband and her daughter and she goes, I just have to tell you, your hair looks beautiful. And I was like, thank you. And she, I don't think realized like how good she made me feel in that moment. But I like repeatedly thanked her because I was like, I was just having a rough day, you know? It was just rough and I just wanted to make it through the half hour at the grocery store and I don't think she actually realized what she did for me in that moment because it really turned my, at least the next hour around and it kind of gave me a little boost of confidence. Like I'm having a good hair day. I'm gonna go grocery shopping and we're gonna make it through and it doesn't matter who's crying because my hair looks good, you know? It's just, what are those moments? I feel like as women, for some reason, we def we tend to deflect any compliments that come our way. Like how many times have you done that? How many times has someone given you a compliment and you're just like, oh no, you know, eh, whatever. And you know, you say something negative about it. We need to stop doing that. We need to start learning how to take the compliments that we are receiving because they really make you feel so good. And in turn, we also need to learn to give more compliments too because you never know the kind of day a person is having. Just like this woman had no clue I was feeling like a hot mess. Maybe she did because again, I definitely looked it. It just really can turn someone's day around. So I think as women, we need to just make it a goal to learn to accept compliments internalize them, be positive, because we need more of that positive energy, especially the way the world is right now. And again, giving compliments back out because we just need more happiness. On the topic of hot mess mom, one thing I have learned after having three children is it is so important to make sure you are taking time for self-care. It could be five minutes, having a cup of coffee in the morning before your kids wake up, maybe going to the gym, maybe just doing your makeup, doing your hair, whatever it might be. It is so, so, so important that we take care of ourselves because in order to take care of everyone else that we're taking care of, we have to take care of ourselves first. That is so important and it's something I always drive home to new moms. So one of the things that I like to do for myself is take a few minutes in the morning and at night to do my skincare routine because I feel like if my skin feels good, I feel good. And as much as I would love to go to the spa, my time is kind of limited right now. It's difficult for me to get out and actually go and get an hour facial. So I kind of like to do a little skincare routine at home to kind of make me feel like I'm at the spa, even though I'm not. So today I'm going to share with you a simple five minute skincare routine that will leave your skin feeling refreshed, revitalized, and like you just got back from the spa, even though you just did it in your bathroom. So the first product in this routine is Kopari's Coconut cleansing oil and this stuff is incredible. I'm so happy I was introduced to it. It's gonna stick around in my routine for a while because it significantly exceeds what I was using in the past. One pump is all you need. It kind of warms up in your hand so when it goes on your skin it just feels like really warm and just like you're at the spa. Like it's that amazing. It unclogs pores, removes impurities, and it's actually really amazing at removing makeup, especially waterproof. That's one thing I noticed. I felt like my face was a lot cleaner. I always kind of, I always have removed makeup before using my cleanser, but this stuff just made it extra clean without leaving that like tight feeling like it was overwashed. No, your skin feels soft. It feels supple 
and it feels really hydrated without being oily or greasy. It also helps to rebalance skin, so it's great for any and all skin types. So the next product is Kopari's Coconut Rose Toner, and this product is filled with antioxidants that really help to revitalize and restore your skin's appearance. There's also witch hazel in it, which is really great for tightening your pores and kind of warding off any harmful bacteria, so it's great for blemishes too. And I think the best part is it's super easy to apply. All you do is spray it. That's it. You don't have to search for a cotton ball. You can just spray it right on your face and you're done. The last product in this routine is Kopari's Coconut Face Cream. This stuff is also filled with antioxidants and fatty acids, which are really great for promoting collagen. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be 32 this year, so I will take like all the collagen boosting products I could use. It's really hydrating without being overly hydrating. So with any of these products, you're not getting any like greasy or oily you know, feeling afterwards, your makeup will still go on really great if you want to apply makeup over it. And this also helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, so it makes you look more youthful. The great thing about these products from Kopari is they are suitable for all skin types. So it doesn't matter what kind of skin type you've got, you can use them. And I also really love that they're free of any toxins, chemicals, they say it right on the packaging. Free um, of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, they're non-GMO, cruelty-free, so you're getting products that are really healthy for your skin and you. All of these products also really pack a punch, so you're getting a ton of benefits in just three simple products, which means your skincare routine could be done in like under five minutes flat. My favorite part about them is how they smell because I swear every time I use them, I'm like immediately transported to some tropical island where I'm sitting with a coconut in hand, on my beach chair, sun shining down, listening to island music, and that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon for me with a new baby, so I'll take it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'd love to know if you do try the Kopari products, I'd love to know what you think. Bye.